Before we go any further, I want to say thank you to our friends at Play Monster for sending us this toy for free. Greetings, everyone! This is your toy commander. And are you guys ready for today's mission? Great, so am I. Alright kids, who doesn't like to do experiments? Today we are going to be doing some really cool experiments with explosive foams. This set includes 18 experiments with has 21 pieces inside and it also includes an educational book. Huh? This is science for you. And I also have to mention this is a STEAM product. That's right, it's science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. Previously on Planet Zizzle, we have done some STEM experiments, but this one adds in arts to make it STEAM experiments, and it is eight years old plus. Also, this set, some of your experiments you can do by yourself, but other, you will need some adult supervision. And the chemicals included are non-toxic, but we wanna make sure that kids mix them properly. And on the back of your Explosive Foams box, it gives you the kit contents. 36 page educational book, protective goggles, test tubes, three large measuring cups, small measuring cup, two wooden stirs, plastic scoop, three pippet droppers, sodium bicarbonate, which is also baking soda, what? and citric acid, red coloring, blue coloring, yellow coloring, two balloons, and a bowl. <laughs> and some of the experiments may need some additional uh, contents, like maybe like uh, dish soap and stuff like that. All right, so let's open it up. Okay, so here we have our educational book right here. We're gonna take a look at that in one minute. Here's our sodium bicarbonate, which is baking soda right here. This is citric acid. And here, here are your three colorings, blue, yellow, and red. Our goggles and a strap. And a thank you for choosing science for you and helping us make science fun. Woo! All right, let's take the rest out. There's a couple trays here also. All right, let's move the box. First, let's go safety wise. Let's string up our goggles here and put them on. There we go, now my eyes are nice and protected. I also brought some of these protective gloves just in case uh, I don't want to get any coloring on my fingers, it may be hard to get off. So here is one tray, we can use this for one of our experiments. Let's open up this tray. This has our popsicle stick, our wooden stick, a balloon, and a bowl. Here are the three larger cups. Here's our small measuring cup. You can see that on here there's some lines and there's some different measurements. We're gonna need that. Test tube. Huh? And one, two, three pipit droppers right here. These are you squeeze these and it pulls out the liquid and you can drop it in. Oh, another balloon, hey. another popsicle stick, <gasps> and one plastic scoop. All right, let's put it all in here. Let's take off this plastic, all right, like that. And I also have some of these. These are glass trays, just cooking trays. That's sometimes you can put your experiments in here. That way they don't make a mess on your table. Okay, so in our book, here are the 18 experiments, but we're probably gonna do a couple of them because we don't have enough time to do all of these, but oh, no. we'll at least get one or two today. There's just a page of all the contents here. And we'll go to our next page. And here are some explosive foams and some different facts to read. What's an explosion? Well, an explosion results from a rapid and uncontrolled release of a given amount of energy. Also up here it says every time you finish an experiment you should wash and store all the materials. Some of these require outdoor experiments too. It says here during an experiment make sure you don't use the same instrument twice. Make sure you wash it first before you perform your next experiment. So it also says none of these foams you are going to produce are harmful to your health. But we recommend that you do not touch them without gloves. And on this page it gives you some fun facts about science and explosions. And this number one experiment is right here on this first page. And it's called Magic Foam. The second experiment is called foam with egg whites. What? 
Experiment number three is called Refrigerant Foam. Number four is Colorful Explosion Race. Okay, that looks cool. Explosive Bombs are number five. Oh no! Ultra Fast Foam, number six. Flurry Foam, number seven. Ooh. Almost a Lava Lamp, number eight. Foam that fills balloons, number nine. Number 10 is rain and explosive colors. Okay, number 11 is citrus foam. And over here it says lemon volcano. Number 13, foaming art. Number 14, foam party. Number 15, explosive ice. And number 16, jelly explosion. Huh? 17, foam that glows in the dark. And the last one is called foaming serpentines. Our first experiment is number four, and it's called Colorful Explosion Race. Here are some of the things that you will need. Your protective goggles, the pippet droppers, plastic scoop, citric acid, sodium bicarbonate, the colorings, small measuring cup, and some extra items with dish soap, which I have right here. And we have cups, trays, and water. Okay, so our first step would be to, with the plastic scoop, that's this, Add two spoons with each large side of sodium bicarbonate to each cup. Okay, step number one complete. Step number two, then add two spoons of dish soap to each cup. All right, let's mix that up a little bit here, get all the contents together. I did wash all my tools before I went on to the next step. On step number three, it says, with a small measuring cup, add 25 millimeters of water to each cup, stir well. Trying not to form foam with the plastic scoop. So this cup is 30 milliliters to the top, so right here is 25. So I'm gonna fill each one with water. Okay, next we're going to add our colors with the pippet droppers to each cup. Okay, on our next step on five, now we need to prepare the citric acid solution. To do this, put 50 milliliters of water in a clean cup, use the small measuring cup to help, and two spoons of citric acid with the help of the plastic scoop. All right, let's do that next. I have three cups in the back that I'm gonna add with 50 milliliters of water. So that's two of these in each cup with water. Now you notice that this one turned green when I added the yellow, that's because the liquid soap was already blue and made it into green so we have a lime green color now it's time to prepare the citric acid solution we're going to put two scoops of this in each cup let's mix our solution Okay kids, we are down to our final step and this is where the fun begins and now we're going to combine our two solutions and then watch the rise and explosion of the foam. Now that we had one successful experiment, let's try one more, and this one is called Foam That Fills Balloons. Wow. And here are the materials that we will be needing today. And some extra items will be vinegar or lemon juice. So I have some regular household white vinegar, 
and some modeling compound. I have Play-Doh that will work just fine. Step number one tells me to make a little ball with the modeling compound, place it on the work table and press the tube onto it. The ball will support the tube. Alright, so let's take our Play-Doh, make it into a ball, put it right here and then let's take our test tube and insert the test tube and it should stay. And voila! The next right. step we will need to do is use the small measuring cup to add 10 milliliters of vinegar or lemon juice to the test tube. Taking my vinegar and pouring 10 milliliters into this measuring cup. Oops, too much. Oops. Let's pour a little back. And that right there is 10 milliliters of white vinegar. Let's put it right in the test tube. Careful. All right. Next step was with the plastic scoop, place three plastic scoops of sodium bicarbonate into the balloon. And then we will attach the balloon nozzle to the end of the test tube so that it's securely attached. Be careful not to drop the sodium bicarbonate into the test tube. Number five would be to lift the balloon and drop the sodium bicarbonate and voila, the balloon should blow up by itself. Here is our balloon, our scoop, and our sodium bicarbonate. Let's fill it up with three scoops. Okay, my next step would be to attach the balloon to the top of the test tube, but be careful not to spill any of this solution into this vinegar just yet. So let's do that. I'm gonna make sure it's secured on there so the balloon doesn't go flying off. All right, are you guys ready? Now we lift the balloon and we watch. Oh no! Whoa, look at that! Pretty cool, right guys? And there you have experiment number nine, foam that fills the balloon. All right, friends, that does it for this video. So many cool experiments to do with this set. And I want to say, don't forget to smash that like button, share this video with your friends, and come back to Planet Zizzle to keep the missions going. This is your Toy Commander signing off, and I will see you on our next mission. It's now time for me to blast off. Hi. Thank <laughs> you.